Today's video is sponsored by Nexon. Check the description below for links to download Durango Wildlands on both iOS and Android. Hello again everyone and welcome back to Durango Wildlands. Today we're going to be covering how to create your own clan, what to do with your clan and how to level it up. The first step naturally is creating the clan. To do this you need to be at least level 20 and own 10,000 T-stones. This may seem like a large amount as a new player, however it's incredibly easy to accumulate these by working the island market and by completing quests on unstable islands. I plan to do a separate video on how to work the island market, however for now all you need to know is a fast way to sell items is by taming animals and then selling them. I've found Pictar Raptors to be especially popular and normally sell them for about 3000 T-stones. For this next section we're going to be going over all of the different clan options that you see, starting out with the info. This tab displays all of the information of your clan, including the name, an introduction and a banner. The banner cannot be changed, so make sure you are happy with it when you make it. From here you are also able to post announcements to the clan. The main feature of this tab is the donate to clan button, as without donations you will not be able to build a clan base. The manage clan tab will list all of your clan members and pending clan requests. This is where you can view the online members and see when your clan members were last online to monitor activity. You are also able to edit the hierarchy of the members to promote people in your clan. Level. The level tab is the most important tab in my opinion as it will list all of the achievements your clan has reached. You level your clan as you do your character by farming, crafting, gathering, hunting and taming. At clan level 2 you will all get a 5% EXP boost, however this is the only boost you will get through leveling the clan and it persists indefinitely. Once your clan gets to level 5 you will be able to start construction of a clan base on a civilized island. These islands are unlocked once your player reaches level 30. Leveling your clan is also how you go about increasing the member limit. At level 1 you can have 15 members, at level 25 you can have 55 members. One of the features of the clan base system is the ability to expand your enclave. When you first create your clan base you will not need to use more than a few enclave tiles, however as you expand you will hit the 12 tile limit rather fast. Leveling your clan means that you will be able to expand your clan base even further for cheap. At clan level 10 for example you can have 27 enclave tiles, and once fully leveled your clan will obtain a total available space of 72 tiles. The benefit to this is highly important. In Durango you are not able to unlock all skills. You'll be able to specialise in only a few categories, so you will rely on your clan members to craft things that you cannot. If you choose not to be in a clan you'll be faced with either constantly respecking your skill points or buying everything you need from the island market, usually at an extortionate rate. Having all clan members specialise in different fields means that all areas will be covered and they can store the items in the clan base for all to use. For this reason alone I highly recommend joining or creating a clan as it will be extremely difficult to progress in the game without one. Once you have reached level 5 clan and level 60 as a player you will be able to visit the savage islands. This is where PvP will take place. Your base here can be attacked at any time even if all of your clan members are offline. However it can be worth the risk to gather the max level resources to build the best gear available to you. There are also multiple tames that you can only find on the savage islands. The history tab shows you what your clan have been up to. This comes in especially handy if you have a tax system set up where members are required to donate X amount to the clan every certain period of time. You can also check who has been added to or removed from the clan. Search and Alliance. I'm grouping these two together as the search function is mainly used for the Alliance tab. The search tab is pretty self explanatory, it allows you to search for clans to join or ally with. As a new clan you'll be able to form three alliances, these allow you to respawn at an allies warp hole and means that you cannot attack each other on savage islands. That's it for my guide to clans, should anybody wish to join my clan then you'll need to apply in discord, the link of which is in the description. Once again this video is sponsored by Nexon and the game is currently available to download for both Android and iOS. 
I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Goodbye. You see.